Hey, you got Fox here. Today we're gonna go through quarterback release times. I did some testing on them in practice mode. Uh, the sponsor today is Bonsai Trees. Every tree is a palm tree when it's bonsai. Subscribe for more content like this. If you find yourself here for the first time and are looking for more test results, check out last week's testing videos on defensive tackles and pack pull odds. So as far as my method on how I tested the quarterback releases, I traded players to the Steelers until I got 19 quarterbacks. I edited each of those players to different quarterback throwing motions. I tested short, medium, and long throws for each of those quarterbacks. I recorded each quarterback throwing each route then watched the instant replay. I went frame by frame from when the quarterback started his motion to when the ball left his hand. Unfortunately, Madden only outputs in 30 frames per second, so I was only able to get it down to 1 30th of a second uh, in that precision. Uh, so we'll start with long throws and getting into those. It seems to me every quarterback has the same mechanics when throwing deep. And after running through each quarterback and having them all have the same release times on bombs of 17 frames, I went through and compared mechanics between each player. Sure enough, they're all the same. Watch as I go through very different quarterbacks. Roethlisberger, Vic, here's him in slow motion. Watch that pump, aim to the sky and release. Does that look familiar here? It should, because it's the same motion going up, down, point at this guy and throw it deep. So every single quarterback in the game has the same throw deep mechanics. I doubt that's, you know, the same as real life. I think they're different, but in the game they're the same. So if all you do is throw deep, you don't need to look at the rest of this video. Uh, choose any quarterback mechanic and they're the same. So there they are side by side, two different quarterbacks. But I remember in 15, there was a unique pump when I did this testing. Uh, so it kind of got me thrown off. Uh, and yeah, I did the same testing in Madden 15. Unfortunately, it never became a video in 15 because the file corrupted before I could get all the way through it. Um, so to answer my question, I booted up 15 and recorded it. And sure enough, the pump is there. Watch as one hand leaves the ball while the ball is pumped up. And so I said maybe they had unique mechanics in 15 on each quarterback throwing differently. And as you can see from these last three quarterbacks, that is not the case. Gretkowski had Brady's mechanics and Landry Jones here had Rodgers mechanics. They both had the same throw deep technique that Roethlisberger has. So 15 had the same too, uh, but it was just a different animation. They changed it for 16 to what we have now. Um, so to sum up throwing long bombs, every quarterback in Madden 15 and 16 has the same throw deep release time, although I only tested three uh, right there in 15 looking at the same. So I'm not as confident there as I am in 16 being all the same. Um, but in Madden 16, that release time on these long bombs is just over half a second. Or 17 thirtieths of a second to be precise. So let's get on to medium throws. And this is where things differ. And you see some quarterbacks are faster than others. Uh, if you want the fastest quarterback with the fastest release there are medium, get Tom Brady. I timed him out at 10 frames or one third of a second on his release. Most every other quarterback fell into 11 to 13 frames time. I have a spreadsheet at the end where you can see all of the data yourself. Other notable players were Aaron Rodgers and Ryan Fitzpatrick who were timed between 10 and 11 frames. Um, so let's get into uh, comparing uh, Brady and Romo. So Brady's represented by David Fales here and Romo's represented by McCown. Um, so we'll get them side by side here as they match up with Brady on the right. Um, as you can see, they kind of go together here, and Brady gets his ball off first. So here we go, frame by frame. Hands sort of separate. There's a big difference here between separation between the two now. Brady gets it back faster. Uh, look where he is compared to Romo's motion. And almost up over the shoulder here. Romo's still below. And this is the difference here coming out. So Brady's here out in 10 frames, and Romo's out in 12. Um, so that's why Tom Brady is the best there at medium range, just to compare two guys. Um, Romo was pretty average for the group at 12 frames in the medium. So just to go over some other notes I found while testing here, I found having to turn your body to the receiver resulted in two frames difference uh, between when you tap the button and when you let go. And throwing across your body like lefty having to throw to the right resulted in a one frame penalty. Uh, but I'm not about to claim that I discovered and tested all animations for throwing. Uh, some of these quarterbacks could have better throw on the run animations, for example, uh, and the other myriad of animations out there. Uh, but one test I did with a couple of the quarterbacks, not all, are medium length bullet passes. 
It surprised me it only took 10 frames to throw that, while short and medium passes in my test took 12 frames. Uh, it did seem there was a, like a strange animation, a different animation, I guess it's strange, uh, for bullet passes up the field that was quicker than passes to the sideline or short. But let's move on to the spreadsheet. Uh, in the left column are the number of the players, that was for tracking reasons, so I can, uh, when I went frame by frame, know who I was going through. Uh, the Roethlisberger, you know, the player, uh, Vic Mallet, those are the players who are on my team. And then the throwing motion in that third column is, you know, Weed into Castle, McCown to Romo. So Romo's motion was on McCown, who was wearing number 19. And then short, medium, long, um, that, that was the release times and how many frames came out for those release times. But let's get into the short animations. Everybody was basically the same between 11 and 12, with only one guy reaching 13, and that's Matt Castle. So everybody gets the ball out similarly fast when throwing short. And I don't know why some short times are longer than medium times. If you have an idea, let me know in the comments. Uh, it could just be the animations, I'm not so sure. And the solid performers like Brady and Rogers, I went back and tested them again and some others to make sure I didn't screw up the first time. They tested the same the second time around. Uh, but if I were to choose a guy out of this list, I'd go with Brady. He clearly had the best medium throw release and even though he wasn't the fastest short, it was only one frame difference between him and the best short. And even though Fitzpatrick had a great time in both short and medium, I don't want to use Fitzpatrick in Mutt. I used Brady last year. He was phenomenal. Um, but let me know what you guys think of this. Uh, thanks for watching. Call to action. I'll see you tomorrow.